Hey guys, it's Katsu from this DL. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to edit your face cam for gaming video. If you guys want to see more DaVinci Resolve videos, please let me down in the comments. And with that being said, vamonos! Alright, so let's get started. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to edit your face cam for gaming videos. Unfortunately, I don't have no gaming content recorded as if now. Not saying I don't record any gaming content. I just don't have anything saved. Most of the time when I record, I just delete it because I'm never going to use it. So for this example, I'm, I'm going to be using a reaction video. Don't worry, the concepts are still the same. Uh, It's just, it's not going to be gaming related it's just gonna be a reaction video now something that you guys want to remember is that everyone has personal preference you might not like the way i do it and you might not like the style that i do it but the thing that i want you guys to remember is that the way i'm doing it works out for me and it's so much easier than other methods that i have tried saying that you guys might change the positioning of of your face cam it's right it's your video right you guys might want to add a shape in your face cam. Like I said, it's right. It's your own video. You guys have to remember that whenever you guys are editing a video, just have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Just have fun, be creative, and see what works out for you. Now, in this topic, we are talking about face cam. So, little brief, right? I started doing my intro, right? Hey guys, it's Control HD, and welcome back to a brand new video. It so this is from my second channel, Cacho Films HD. I'm I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch it. So yeah, I started out doing my intro, full screen, and everything. Blah, works out good. And right here is where the video actually starts. Sideman hole in the wall. Something that you guys could tell right away is that I don't have my face cam like normal, right? I have it in a circle. Why? Because it doesn't take up too much space from the video and uh, this implies to gaming readers right let's say you're playing minecraft or call of duty or fortnite or valorant or fall guys or any other game right you guys want to focus more on the gameplay right than your actual face but you want your face to be part of it so that's how you have uh your face cam in included into the video the second thing that you guys could notice is that i have two layers one layer is a full screen and another layer is only uh the circle reaction face cam thing whatever you guys want to call it now why do i have two layers if i'm only going to be using one it's because when i go through the video it's so easy for me right just to switch back and forth for this example hey, right up here, man. <laughs> <laughs> my boy be looking like a wwe wrestler <laughs> it's so easy it's so easy for me just to switch and i don't have to go ahead and cut it and edit anything like this basically if you guys want to go ahead and learn how to do this i'm going to be showing you guys so uh let's go grab this clip let's go grab this and this perfect so this is a face cam we are going to go to fusion and we are going to deselect so this is how it starts right let's go Go ahead, you are done with your color grading and everything that you guys want to do, right? And of course, guys, I do have color grading here. Uh, oh, I don't think I... Do I have color grading? Yes, I do have color grading. It just... I just have it as a uh, as a compound clip. So I think if we just decompose it... There you go. Look, I have my color grading here. Now, what you guys want to do is go click Alt in your keyboard and just drag it up and now you have two clips if you guys want to go ahead and add like any shape or anything like that what you're going to do is go to fusion for this example i'm going to be using a eclipse a circle but if you guys want to go ahead and add a rectangle or anything like that the option is right next to it grab the eclipse i drag it and it looks like this now of course like there's just too much space or whatever it's easy just get that uh edge right here and just line it up to your face you could go ahead and move it and boom now if we deselect this top one now is going to be the one that has that um eclipse and this bottom one is just a regular so if i go ahead and drag it right my face is right here now if you guys want to go ahead and deselect 
if you guys go and just click D, this is what you have, right? Another thing that you guys could do if you guys want to be creative is go ahead and add another layer. And if you add another layer, instead of having like a full screen or anything like that, I see many people having it like as a side. Uh, and this is what I, I'm talking about, right? Crop it towards the left or like that, then towards the right as well. And then you could go ahead and place your like gameplay or something like that towards like the left side or like I said, the right side, depending on where you want to put it. And just like that, you have multiple, I guess, clips that if you guys just want to go ahead and select. It's so, so, so easy. Hopefully this video helped you in some way to form, either like doing the eclipse in your face cam or having multiple layers. Uh, maybe you guys haven't tried that method out or just anything because it's, it's basically comes down to your creativity and how you guys want to go ahead and place your face cam in these videos. Like I said, everyone has different ways to do it. This is my way to do it. I prefer this way. I know when I laughed, I know when I had like a funny face expression or anything like that. So I could easily just go scroll through the video or anything like that. And um, it makes it so much easier. <laughs> like. <laughs> Bro, that remind me. Like it's so much easier for me, but like I said, hopefully this video helped you in some way or form. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos, please tell me down in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button. And see you guys later. Take it easy.